I am a god, you dull creature. And I will not be bullied by that. Puny god. Hi and welcome to Gamers Web. Uh, my name is Mark and today we're going to take a quick look at the Marvel Crisis Miniatures Protocol game Hulk Expansion. And this is for the brand new game from Atomic Mass Games. Um, quite a nice box, very small, very compact, but a big model inside. Okay, Hulk, you won't like me when I'm angry. When famed scientist Bruce Banner saved his friend Rick Jones' life during a gamma bomb and test explosion, he was bombarded with intense gamma radiation. The result of this extre extreme exposure caused the soft-spoken Banner to transform into a raging green-skinned monster known as the Hulk. Whilst the Hulk has been hated and feared for most of his existence, this fact was not st has not stopped him from using his incredible strength for good, both as part of the Mighty Avengers and on his own. Includes one Hulk miniature, one base, one character stack card, three team tactics cards, one crisis card, 15 tokens, miniature supplied, unpainted and unassembled. Okay, right, enough waffle from me, let's crack into it. Right, so, um, like all of the characters in these boxes, we get a number of components, and there's nothing else left in the box. I'll just put the card back in though, because I want to keep all of that for the moment. Right, so we have the miniature, we have the cards and the tokens, and we also have this Read Mythos. So this is basically how to assemble the Hulk. It's a one-page sheet, and it's very simple. It gives all the credits on the other side, and there's our stages to assemble in the Hulk, including the final stage of attaching him to his base. And as with the uh, core character rulebook, um, all of the parts are exploded so you can see which part goes with which and how they go together dead simple and even if you're new to um, miniature gaming you'll probably find this quite easy to um, understand right okay so I'm um, gonna crack on now and move to the next thing which is going to be looking at the miniatures themselves right okay so um, now the Hulk comes on a large base, his base is 60 millimeters in diameter and as with all the bases it's textured and looks pretty cool. Um, apparently Modoc's base is the same as well as this one and if you see here he's got a coffee cup and a crushed beer can which you can just use as scenic scatter on your base or you don't need to use them at all. And then we look at the pieces of the Hulk now. Um, if you just bear with me two seconds, I'm just going to grab another figure to compare the size of the Hulk with. Okay, sorry about the delay. All right, I'm just going to prepare the Hulk to Obi-Wan Kenobi. Okay, so there's Obi-Wan Kenobi from Star Wars Legion. And this shows you how big the Hulk is when you see that I've just dropped the Hulk on the floor. Um, the Hulk's hand is literally bigger than Obi-Wan Kenobi's body. He could actually hold Obi-Wan Kenobi in his hand. Big figure, big model, uh, lots of detail on it as well, which is always great. Um, sculpture is fantastic, the animation is brilliant. Um, just take a look at that face. That's a face that only a mother could love. For some reason my camera's going really grainy, I think it might be the light in this room. But anyway, I'll just put Obi-Wan back in his box. Right, okay, so um, assemble left, dead simple. It's gonna go together quite easily. We'll have a look at his card. Now, Hulk is different from a lot of the other characters in the game. Um, as one would imagine, the Hulk is going to be quite difficult to take out. Here's his um, tokens. So we get his um, power tokens, his wound tokens, his uh, Avengers affiliation tokens, and also gamma radiation tokens as well. They're for the gamma shelter mission, which comes 
in the cuts. We'll have a look at the small cuts first. So you've got, um, you've got his uh, Gamma Wave sweeps uh, across Midwest. So place the three Gamma Shelters targets, which are these um, ones here. You place those and then it tells you how to get your victory points for it. And it's a threat level 15. So that's quite a small threat level compared to the threat levels of 17 and 20 that we've seen so far. Okay, so he has uh, Gamma Launch, Anger Management and Seeing Red. Okay, so um, Gamma Launch allows Hulk to throw someone who's two inch, within two inches of him. Sorry, uh, if he's in range two of another ally, he can throw someone. Uh, and uh, that can be quite devastating. Um, anger Management, any non-Hulk character within three inches of an allied Hulk character may be spend up to five power to play this card. The anger, the Hulk suffers um, damage equal to the power, uh, but gains that much power back. So basically, they get him angry, he takes damage, but he can then inflict more damage. Uh, because the, the, hurt, the more damage he takes, the better he gets. And then, uh, seeing red, um, when an allied character is dead or killed by an enemy effect, uh, another allied character within two inches of this character may spend three points to play this card. Basically, um, the enemy effect is resolved. This character may attack that enemy uh, that caused it, so they get another attack. Right, so um, if you've got a lot of power and someone does that, that's going to be quite nasty. But that's an unaffiliated, unaffiliated. That means that anybody can use that card. Okay, go on to Hulk himself. So, like all the cards, um, it's double sided. But if you look, it's exactly the same on both sides. Why is that, you ask? Well, I'll tell you, if you look on this side, we have a stamina of 20. He's got a movement of short. He's got a size of four because he's huge. And he's got a threat level of six. He's not very good at, um, at physical or energy um, defense, but he's got a defense of three against... Um, Mystical. He's got um, a strike, which is a push, which does six damage at a range two, but costs no power. He's got um, Thunderclap, which is a blast at three, does five damage and uh, costs three power. And then he's got Hulk Smash, which is a range two attack, does eight damage and rolls eight, eight, eight dice and costs four power. And that's got a stagger effect if he rolls a wild and throw effect if he rolls a wild as well. Then his um, other abilities, he's got Gamma Leap, strongest one there is, and his innate abilities are Inner Rage, You Won't Like Me When I'm Angry, angry and Immunity to Poison, which means any poison attacks do not do any damage to the Hulk. Flip his card over. Oh, hang on, is there a mistake? I think so, Luke. No, there's no mistake. Hulk's exactly the same on both sides. He's got a massive... 40 stamina altogether. He is so hard to take out. But if you start using things like this seeing red card on him and inflicting 10 points of damage on him, he's going to get taken out quite quickly. Um, all in all, Hulk is a powerhouse. He's got a threat level of six, so he's going to take up a big bulk of your uh, force when you choose them, but it's six points wisely spent. If you team Hulk with crossbones, and maybe Baron Zemo, you're looking at quite a winning formula there because of um, the ability that Baron Zemo's got. So um, that's my quick look at the Hulk expansion for uh, Marvel Crisis Protocol. Um, if you've got any questions, please leave them in the comments section down below. And um, as always, if you check out um, Gamers Web for more in-depth looks and reviews on Marvel Crisis Protocol. We've got some more videos coming up as soon as I can get them done of um, the terrain. We've got some tutorials, um, painting tutorials. Uh, I know I'm not the only one who's doing it. There's lots of people doing it. Um, if you want a really good painting tutorial, I suggest you check out Sorastro's uh, tutorials. They are phenomenal. Uh, both his miniature painting and his terrain building. I will leave a link to those down below. Also, if you check out um, some of the unboxings and the walkthroughs by um, Tim over at um, um, Krabuk, uh, he's more or less the guy who discovered the game at Gen Con and broke it first. And also uh, my pal Jason uh, Cunliffe's uh, Tabletop Oberty. 
uh, sorry, terrain auditor, tabletop auditor, uh, channels, links will both blow down, be down here. Um, the stuff that Jay's doing is fantastic. Right, so um, until next time, true believer, keep it real, make mine marvel, and I'll see you soon. Thank you for tuning in. That man is playing Galaga. Thought we wouldn't notice, but we did. <laughs>